So, Kev, as a coach, um, what do you want to see personally uh, from the guys in training? Um, I think what we normally expect from them every week, really. Um, good level of preparation, due diligence in what we're going to do in terms of reviewing the performance we had and and then looking at Gloucester and in terms of what we need to prepare for this week. So I think um, there's some important lessons we need to learn from that game, but I think we try and be as consistent as possible in terms of what we do week to week. So Kev, is it important not to go too over the top and remain um, level-headed uh, after, after the result? Yeah, I mean, it was important that we looked at the reasons why it happened. Um, there's there's lessons in every game, whether you win or lose it. Um, I guess it's just harder to take those lessons when you've lost the game. But So we've, we've looked at it in depth and, and looked at where we could have been better. Um, and as I say, the, the important thing is that, that we learn from it and, and, and move on and become a better team for it. It's a team that's, um, that's always seemed to bounce back in the past. Um, from the impressions you've got from the, the players today and, and after, after that result, is there a willingness to learn uh, amongst this team? Uh, yeah, we had a really good meeting this, this, this lunchtime where we... Um, we got a few things out in the open. The floor was open up for people to speak about what what needed addressing, if if there was anything that needed correcting, and how they felt about it. Um, and we we put forward um, a few bits and pieces from our side as coaches. Um, and then the the response from the players was was very good, as you'd expect from this group of very experienced who've been together for six or seven years now. So, as you say, it doesn't happen too often, but um, when it does, it's, it's it's right that we need to address it and and, and move on and learn from it.